What's up everybody? This is Michael at Fouts Fab. Um, I haven't been able to get a lot of content out lady, lately because we're in the middle of our move. Uh, so I'm going to try to get a few videos made just to get something out there for you. And we'll get back into the regular videos as soon as we get to our new facility. This job here is a new builder that we started working with, Preston. And uh, he likes his scenes in the center of the sink. Um, that's not my preferred way to do it. I explained this to him, but it's my job to do what the customer wants. Uh, so we decided to go ahead and do it his way. So the best way to do it, if you're going to do a seam in the center of the sink, you cut your pieces. These are our two pieces. Went ahead and put our seam dead center of the sink here. Okay. If you can put them on one cart like this, it's best to do it. If not, you need to have two carts that are the same height or nearly the same height so you can level them up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these to show you kind of what we're working with. I know it's loud. My wife's over there polishing. I've got a guy out today also. Um, so this is what we got here. It's going to be a 50-50 sink. You can see it's off level right now. So I'm going to separate it just a bit so I don't chip it while I'm leveling it. Level it up and draw the sink on there. And then I'll show you what we got. I went ahead and put it over by the polishing station. That way, once I get it cut out, I can go ahead and polish it and not have to move it again. And I can keep it all together. That way, my rollovers and everything are exactly the same on both sides of the sink. A, a downside to this is when you get it to the job site, you still got to polish the front, the inside, and then the front side of the sink hole. So you got three places, and it's kind of hard on the back and awkward and all that. Um, and you've just got small areas that are holding your material together. Whereas in a full size scene, you got all this material holding that scene together. Um, but people like smaller scenes rather than a full length scene. But if, with the scene phantom, um, you can make your full size scenes look really good if you use scene phantom gorilla grips and got a good color and all that stuff. But uh, And making it level, that's very, very important. But uh, Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and level this up, guys, and draw the sink on there and everything, and uh, then I'll show you periodically throughout where we're at and what we got. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and like I said, once we get the movie, and I will uh, get the videos back on track. All right, so I went ahead and pulled my four inches back. All sink fronts get a four-inch bar, unless otherwise specified by the customer, or if it's too small and we got to manipulate it or whatever uh, which in turn we would talk it over with the customer but anyway this one's got a four inch setback um, I definitely got five inches I try to make sure I got at least five inches in the back for my faucet backsplash riser or whatever so and of course my center line is my cuts for my seam so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out fab it polish it and all that and then I'll back cut it and run my seam phantom on it so I get nice, perfect, tight seam. Alright guys, uh, it's now 20, 30 minutes later. Um, and uh, I've got it cut out and roughed in. So it's not perfect, but I've got it smooth enough where I can start with the polishing pad. Got to crawl my fat butt in here. Um, but as you can see, I still got it leveled up, smoothed across the front, in here, back here. Um, I used this grinder with the blade to cut it. Then I used this grinder here with the zero tolerance to clean out the big rough spot. And then I used this 24 stone here to uh, clean it up to the point it's at now. I want to clean all this out and uh, get in here and polish it with the, with the wet polisher, the pneumatic polisher. As you can see me, I've got my mask on to keep the dust off and then uh, of course I got safety glasses on to keep it out of my eyes. Uh, so I'm going to get at it and I'll touch up with you 
touch back with you here in a second. All right, guys, I got this thing uh, finished polished. I think it's been about, I don't know, too many, maybe 45 minutes. And I know this is no magnificent feat of skill or anything. I'm just showing you guys how you do a uh, seam in the center of the sink. So I'm gonna show you guys what I, what my finished product in looks like and what I used to get there. All right, here's my sink hole. Uh, see, I kind of squeezed it off and dried it so you guys could, you know, get a look at actually what it looks like. It's dry. I mean, I didn't take a torch to it, but it's pretty dry. Uh, of course, here's the seam. I've still got to run the seam phantom on the seam, you know, so that it's tighter and cleaner looking. All right, and this is what I use the polisher with. Uh, I use my Quick Six polisher, and then I use the four-inch aluminum backer pad, and I also use the, a three-inch flexible backer pad. With the four-inch aluminum, I use my Viper Elite, a new set. That you know they're pretty pretty solid. I use that for the. Uh, that's not totally flat, but it's fairly flat for the flatter portions of it front and the back and the sides and then I go up to the, the to the fourth the third pad I go up to, through that three pad and then I switch over to my soft three inch with older pads that got a lot more flex to it and with those I do my corners I'll start back with the one pad and uh, do my corners and work my way out till I get to that third pad and then on the fourth pad, I'll just go all the way around with every pad until I finish. To me, that's the quickest, uh, best way to do it. Um, and that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. Um, like I said, it's not my favorite way to do it. It's, it's a lot more work than just the uh, long scene. But hey, you got to do what the customers want. That's what we're all about. Giving the customer what they want in the best possible quality um so i'm going to go ahead and run the steam phantom and get the perimeter of this thing polished and uh load it up over here um it goes out in a week or so but uh we're trying to get ahead so that we can keep working on this move guys thank you very much for watching um thank you everybody that supported this all of our customers um all of our friends um, everybody that watches on here, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, give us a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't. We're in the 900 subscribers now, so uh, we're closing in on the thousand finally. So uh, I'd appreciate any help you could give me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Also, guys, while recording this video, I noticed my eyes look a little tired and a little red. Uh, <laughs> That's not because I'm high, uh, you know, I, I tweaked my back this weekend while we were uh, moving and uh, my back's been killing me. The doctor gave us some prednisone and I've been taking that and uh, I just haven't been sleeping well because I can't get comfortable in the bed and with the move and trying to keep our customers satisfied with the jobs, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to rest my body. So. Um, I'm fully alert, fully aware, working safe, so um, I just noticed my eyes look a little rough, so I didn't want anybody worried about me. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.